Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my trim and terrific kitchen. And wow, do I have a great rush hour recipe for you today. Have you ever prepared salmon? I know a lot of people think it's intimidating and you don't know what to do and it's one of those dishes you have to order out. Well, I honestly have to say this is a four ingredient recipe and every time I make this salmon recipe, even my husband who doesn't eat salmon eats this recipe. So it's so good and quick to make and you might not think of salmon as a last minute dinner, but this can. And you know, we're supposed to include more fish in our diet and sometimes that's hard to do, but this is restaurant quality in the home, in your own kitchen. So let's get started. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on the way to simplify your life because I don't know about you, but I'm not a big cleanup person. So instead of marinating in a pan, I always like to do anytime I can in a Ziploc bag. Uh, that way, all you have to do is throw it out one less thing to clean. So we're gonna start with a little lemon juice or lime juice, whichever you like. And here's a little Dijon mustard. We'll get it out of here. Gives it a little spunk to your recipe. This is one of those marinades that's sort of like a, a sweet and with a little salty. And this is reduced sodium soy sauce. I always use the reduced sodium because it's a le less sodium for you and we wanna watch our salt intake. And then honey. So it gives that sweet and savory fly taste in one bite. Now, here's my tip on this. You wanna always coat your measuring cup or whatever with a nonstick cooking spray because nothing's worse than getting honey out of something. And you'll see, it'll come right out. I'm doing it the wrong way, but you could see how easily it comes out and doesn't stick to everything. Okay, so now we have our marinade and I'm just gonna sort of mush it around to get everything mixed up together. And then buy salmon fillets, whatever type of salmon you like, and you wanna get them four to six ounces. You're gonna put your raw salmon in here. What's great about salmon also, it's portion controls. So if there's only two of you, you only buy two fillets. Or if you're trying to watch your diet, you buy it in a certain portion, that's what you eat. So, big question, how long are you gonna marinate it? We're gonna move it all around and we're gonna marinate in the refrigerator. A couple of hours, or you know me, however much time you have. So, I'm gonna go put it in the refrigerator. And we'll let it sit there however long I have today, and then I'm gonna cook it. All right, we've marinated the salmon, so now we're gonna remove it from the marinade. Remember, don't discard the marinade because we're gonna use it later. So you're just gonna put it in. I start with skin side up, so your bottom gets really golden brown. Cook it about three or four minutes. We're gonna transfer it to a plate, and now we're gonna add the marinade back to the skillet, let it come to a boil, then we're gonna put back the salmon in there so it finishes cooking and it gets this wonderfully sweet glaze Oh my gosh, and it is ready. So this is a great last minute meal, glazed salmon, four ingredients. And if you don't like salmon, never prepared salmon or intimidated by salmon, I promise this recipe will become one of your favorites. And if you'd like this recipe, it's from Kitchen 101 and you can find the book on my website, which is hollyclegg.com. Or of course I have the recipe there. See you in the kitchen and don't be afraid to cook salmon from now on. Mm -hmm.